I'm going to ask you questions, so kindly please pay attention. Name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and at all times and forever and ever, Amen. The Gospel reading today shows us that we shouldn't rush into doing something. But before we do something, we have to consult with God. We have to slow down and ask God. This is exactly what happened with St. Peter in the Gospel reading. He was asked if his teacher, the Lord Christ, is paying the temple taxes. And as I said, he slowed down, went to ask Jesus and to come back with the answer. And this is something that we should all do. We should slow down. Please don't rush into taking any action before you pray for it and ask God. So St. Peter went to the Lord Christ and the Gospel reading today said that the Lord started the discussion with him. Sometimes the Lord Jesus is a bit slow to answer our prayers. And sometimes he is very quick to answer our prayers according to the situation. But St. Peter did the proper thing. So the Lord Christ said to him, what do you think? The temple tax, who are the ones who are supposed to pay the temple taxes? Was it the foreigners or the members of the temple? He said, I think the foreigners. He said, you are right. However, in order not to cause a problem, and here is another, another lesson, try to avoid problems. The Lord Christ said, but in order not to cause a problem, in order not to be a stumbling block for them, go and cast your net, and you will catch a fish. And open the fish, you will find a bracelet that will have enough value to pay the temple tax for you and for me, to avoid a problem. He was not supposed to, but to avoid a problem. So at least from this event, we learned two things. One, slow down. So many problems happen to us when we rush. Never take a decision before you consult with God. And once you consult with him, he will work with you sometimes quickly, like did today, or sometimes very slow. But again, go back to God before you taking any action. This is what happened with King Haskiah of the Old Testament. King Haskiah was a good believer of God. And he got a message from another king called King Sanharib, who was a Gentile who used to worship idols. And King Sanharib sent him a letter saying, we want you to submit the land and the belongings. We are going to take everything from you. What did he do? He did two things. One, he slowed down to pray about it. Two, he went to God and he took the letter and he did something, he did something very strange. He had a robe. You know when you hang the clothes to dry them? He had a robe and he hanged the letter on the robe. And he said to God, look, look God, the insult that he's giving to me. What do you want me to do? Again, God was quick to answer Haskiah. And he said to him, you know what? When he comes from his place, he will not be able even to arrive at your place. After all the threats that King Sanharib said that he's going to do to him, to Haskiah, he said he is not going to even arrive to that place. And the, the Lord sent his angels and defeated King Sanharib, and he was unable to go to Haskiah or do anything for him. So Haskiah taught us the same lesson like St. Peter. One, slow down. Every time we rush into things, we do mistakes because it's not well thought of. It's not well studied. It's not prayed for. But he, God is saying, Go to God before you take an action. You can save yourself plenty of troubles. The same thing happened to Mary and Martha. 
But I told you, the Lord can answer very quickly or can answer slow, but he will answer. Mary and Martha sent a message to the Lord Christ, and they said, the one whom you love is sick about Lazarus. The one whom you love is sick. And Jesus waited and waited. Why? It doesn't matter. But the important thing, that they consulted with him. And he waited. But guess what? He came even after Lazarus was dead for four days. And he raised him up from the dead. Because Mary and Martha took the proper steps. One, slow down. Two, consult with God. And then, once you consult with God, you moved your problem to him. And he is going to handle it for your best, as he did in the gospel reading today. So how many steps is it to do when you have an issue? One step, or two steps, or three steps? Yes? Bravo, Alek, Helu, Shatr, Khalis, Khalis, two steps. What is the first step? Do you have to rush it? Do you have to rush it? Suppose someone bothered you, bothered you so much, do you want to rush it and give him hard time? Hey, someone there, yes? Slow down. slow down, slow down. Just slow down. You can avoid many problems when you slow. And what is the second step before you take the action? To whom should you go? Yes. Exactly. Go to the Lord Christ and pray for him and submit your problem in his hand. Say, here I have a problem like Peter did and the Lord solved the problem for him. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. You answered very well, guys. Thank you. Hear us, dear Lord, as we all pray, thankfully, our Father. Come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us their daily bread and forgive us our trespass, as we forgive those trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ, we serve our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen.